trying to think. I feel like, you know, Young Link is definitely going to maybe go into these larger stages. Toast has to take a bit some big stages to get away. But it really doesn't feel like it doesn't matter what kind of stage this is going to go to. He's just going to be able to chase him down with Pyra and hit him, kill him really early with uh, Mithra. All the way around. Chase down with Mithra, kill early with Pyra. We are going to see the Toast Young Link. I know he did have a Pyra Mithra face, so I'm sure he, uh, he, he knows the character pretty well. I'll have to see how he... Uh, Mithra! He adapts to Abyss's uh, play, play style. I, I don't know when the last time these two played this, so we'll have to we'll have to see. Actually, the last time they played is today, so fun fact. All right, let's get in here. Game one, Three, Young Link two, versus Pyron one, Mithra. Go! All right. All right, immediately, Mithra going in. Definitely going to get captured by that grab from Young Link. He's going to have to be very careful there that... Uh, he doesn't throw out any unsafe options because Toast is definitely going to capitalize on them. Just like that when he gets the grab. Only one hit a backer though. Really good holding shield. Up the out of shield. Very interesting option there. I don't I don't know why he didn't, you know, maybe try and shield grab or maybe get a probably had time to drop his down kill. Alright, nice forward air, get him off. Not able to catch that air dodge or the roll in. Oh, and being able to forward air through that boomerang is gonna be really important in this matchup. Toast has gotta be really careful about, you know, even a disadvantage throwing boomerang at point blank. Alright. It's just looking like impossible for Abyss to get in right now. Toast has just got such a commanding lead over the stage. All right, here's the opening that Abyss might need. He's on the Pyra. Oh, he's caught by the side B. Right, how do we get back to stage? Good patience there from Toast. Not, not forcing any options. He's trying to take back center stage, realizing, you know, we just need to action to probably take the stock here. Good back here, sends Toast off stage. He's going to be able to shield that. Interesting, the short hop forward arrow. That's really Alright. Toast far off stage. Abyss is obviously not going to take any risks getting reverse edge guarded. Alright. Pushing the Mithra just to give himself a bit more of back to Pyra. Of course, I, I know that a lot of Pyra Mithra is restricted to uh, Mithra at these high percents, but really can get the kill. Just has a bit better neutral, so it's, it's going to be harder for your opponent to find their, their kill options. That was so smart from Toast to go through the, the hitbox on the bomb to find an opening. All right, yep, and there's no getting away from that one. That's just Young Link. Forces you to recover high. If you don't, that's it. Really good there from Abyss to get around the boomerang. Just like that, it's still an even game. All right, nice forward air out of shield. Grabs the grab. Up air. Nice. All right. Oh, no tech. It's got to be a big damage for Toast. Lucky, uh, lucky for uh, Abyss, we didn't see a uh, down air on that platform because that Toast loves going for that. If you follow this player at all, you know that that's, that's he loves. Catching those rolls on the platform with down airs. Alright, really good. Good. Good back airs. Really back airs. Back air forward air for Mithra. It's so hard to tell which one's which. Gets it by the fire arrow to forward air is going to take that stock for sure. Alright. Nice back air to shield. Oh, doesn't get the turnaround grab. But, you know, Abyss, just in case, decides to up, uh, up be away from it. Maybe he was trying to reverse up B to get a hitbox out there too. They both blundered. All right. Wow. I don't know if that was an A land or if that was just really unfortunate they didn't have to tech there. Oh, good catch there from Abyss. No, nope, no air dodge. Oh, he misses. Oh, Toast trying to get, Toast trying to get nasty over there. All right, nice first hit of boomerang into the Zare, into the Nair. Toast is building his own combos like he's at Subway right now. Alright. Nice Nair. Oh, very good spacing on that boomerang. To hit the Zare. Alright. Fire arrow. Good job from uh, Abyss, not forcing anything. Just holding back, holding the way. And uh, grabbing to the ledge. Alright, good pivot up tilt. Abyss is still in this. You know, Pyra's going to be able to kill really early, so he's got to win one interaction. And then the Toast special. The down tilt to upbeat takes game one. Air back juggle on those platforms too. Really good stages for that. Um, and of course, not banning Yoshi's because he loves that that, uh, that uh, wall jump to mix up his recoveries. So really good stage bans there from Toast. Let's see, where did we go? I wasn't looking. Abyss is gonna take us to good old PS2. You know, they make the best games, so let's get back here on PS2. You know, Abyss is just gonna have to try and just like 
take more I feel like he's not taking enough advantage of these openings, and Toast definitely is. I mean, a player as good as Toast is gonna take great advantage of every opening he finds. We think it up be it's that grab, dude. Just stuff gets space. Uh, I don't know if it's. I, I guess it's more of a miss spacing from, from a miss there. He's just trying to uh, afford her out of his threat range, but it's uh, a bit too close. Alright. That's Zeros. You've got to parry that Zeros. Just like Zero Suit Samus. It's just like Samus. Any any other character with a good Zero. You've got you to be able to, uh, to parry it. You get a free opening. Alright. Pretty even game here. I don't know if I really agree with the uh, Abyss on Pyro right now. Of course, you know, he knows, he knows character better than I do. Right. And Chose got a little bit greedy there. Gets caught by the Nair. Offstage. Alright, good catch on the bomb. If he didn't catch that bomb, I'm, I'm sure he would have lost the stock there. Alright. Really good side beat. I was very interesting that uh, he decided to double back, run towards Young Link. He tried to do a mix up. Catch just off guard. Good down tilt. Bomb gone. Good way to hold shield. I think that's gonna kill. Yep, first knock goes to Abyss. Oh, down tilt, or uh, drag down forward or to up smash. That was so smart. A lot of a lot of Young Links would have down tilt to begin. Try to get something off that, but you know, he might have been at too high of a percent. Maybe Foresight could have been an option there. Toast is just so smart. Everything Toast does is just so calculated and smart. It's, it's so exciting to watch him play. But Abyss is just doing a so, such a good job of keeping up with him. So good. Using that Nair to reset, not put him into a tech situation. It's like the opposite of an A-Lane. It's that hit of, of Nair, but it doesn't do anything. Some wild noise is going on in the lounge right now. Alright, good. Catch him with the landing Nair. Toast been jumping out of disadvantage a lot. I don't, I don't think Abyss is really catching on. Hopefully, uh, there's more time in the set for him too. Really good. Just waiting to see what Toast's option was. Sees the shields. Runs up and grabs him. He's got him off stage at the ledge. Does it? The Zero to Nair. Really good stuff. All right, nice back air. All right, gets the up, gets the the bomb, but doesn't get enough air out of it. All right. Pyra officially looking for this kill. Yep, down to oh, doesn't kill down to up uh, up air. Ooh, he is gonna get caught by that side being very surprising in my opinion. I thought he would have uh, spaced that well enough to avoid that. Fourth throw, not enough to take it at 157. Interesting. Oh my gosh, so good. Recognizing that uh, at high percents, Abyss has been doing that quite a bit. So Toast just realized if he throws out a long lasting hitbox there, Abyss will run into it if he decides to do that again. Abyss not really thinking about it. All right, he's gotta find the stock pretty soon. Oh, he gets the. Oh, such good patience! Toast not buffering any options. Because, you know, Abyss was ready to take that stock. He is gonna be able to hang on for just a little bit longer to rack on this extra credit. He's racking on a lot of it. He's got Abyss off stage, bombing in there. He dropped at the ledge. All right, really smart from Abyss, just going back into center stage. Down there, nice. All right, good. Oh, fire arrow into Nair. All right, really good patience for both players there. Working out in uh, Mithra's favor though. Good. Oh, <laughs> such a good air dodge. He, he was surely dead if he did not air dodge there. All right. Abyss coming to life right now. Not able to catch it. I feel like he needs to follow Toast landings a bit more. He's got a big sword, you know, in good frames. Like that's that's one of Abyss's huge strengths is being able to juggle, catch landings. And I feel like Abyss is just respecting Toast a little bit too much. Caught by another side beat. That side beat really good at, at catching uh, Young Lee's B moves. Oh, very good. Oh, he's not dead yet. At 157 again. Oh, yeah. That's gonna hit on ledge, which is very interesting. Alright, that's a 2 over key for Toast. That's the